How do you go from a Fusion file right into a nice high-res transparent image? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today's tip, how do you make a nice image of your design? Maybe for me, what I wanna do is either bring this into a PowerPoint or into a nice photo image, or if I'm making a thumbnail for a video, there's lots of reasons that you want to be able to capture an image of this, and maybe you want the background removed. I always do for some of these applications, so how do you do it? Well, here's the wrong way, right? <laughs> Snipping tool, come in, do your screenshot of the you know image that you want, and then you have to go in and remove all that. And there are some tools out there, things like Photoshop, where you can remove that background. And sometimes it's a lot of work, right? Depending on the background, this wouldn't be that bad, but that shading actually would be, it might, add a step or two at least, right? So all of that aside, how do we get it out? Well, go up to file and do capture image. You can choose your resolution. It goes up to 1080, which is HD, or you can do your current document window size. I think I've got this set on a 4K monitor right now. This transparent background, make sure that's checked. Hit okay. Now save it. I'm going to save it local to my hard drive. So I hit save to my computer and then give it, you know, of course, a name. Cap screw image. If you go over to your application, what maybe it's PowerPoint and want to drag this in or import it. I bring it in and there's my nice transparent high res image. If you want to learn to make this socket head cap screw, check out that video below or maybe how to make a fusion file from a photo. Check those out. Thanks for watching.